In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find arc length. To find the arc length, we need to know two things. We need to know the radius of the circle, or the diameter, uh, and we need to know the measure of the arc, or the measure of the central angle. In previous lessons, you've learned about how to find the measure of an arc, and that it's equal to the measure of the central angle, but we're looking at different things here with arc length versus arc measure. The measure of an arc really it tells you about the shape of an arc. So if we were looking at an arc with a measure of 90 degrees, they all would look the same, just be different sizes. They would all be quarters of a circle. So just the same shape, different sizes. Whereas length of an arc, they all have the same length in terms of inches, centimeters, miles, meters, whatever it might be, but could look very different. For example, if we were to draw an arc like this, that's most of a circle, but that's probably... It's about 10 cap lengths long. I could make another one that's about the same length. Those two arcs have about the same length, but they look very different. They have different measures. So arcs are really measured in two ways, their degrees or, and their length. In order for two arcs to be exactly the same, to be congruent, they would have to have the same arc length and the same arc measure. So how do you find an arc, arc length? Well, you need to know how to find circumference, first of all. The circumference of a circle is found by doing 2 times pi times the radius of the circle. And that's talked about in previous lessons. So, circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. This circle right here, if I want to find the measure of this, or sorry, the length of this arc, which has a measure of 90 degrees, I would first find the circumference of the circle. So the circumference is 2 pi times 10, or 20 pi. Since this is a 90 degree arc measure, I know that that's a fourth of a circle. So the arc length for this particular problem would be one-fourth of 20 pi. Well, one-fourth is, how do I know that that's one-fourth? Well, I know that this is 90 degrees, and that the full circle's measure all the way around is 360 degrees. That's how I know that I have one-fourth of a circle, 90 over 360 times 20 pi. Either way, if I use 1 fourth times 20 pi or 90 over 360 times 20 pi, since those are equivalent fractions, I would have 5 pi as my arc length. And you can type it into your calculator to get decimal approximation if you like. So that is the first arc length. For this particular arc with an, an angle measure or uh, 60 degrees, the central angle, which means the arc measure is also 60 degrees. I chose to use the same radius to just make things a little bit easier here. My arc length is going to be some portion of the circumference again, so the same circumference of 20 pi, and then times a fraction. I chose 60 degrees in this particular case because 60 degrees is exactly one-sixth of the circle. So my arc length would be 20 pi times one-sixth, but really that's the exact same thing as 20 pi times 60 over 360, since 60 over 360 is 20 pi. So that reduces to, or simplifies to 20 pi over 6. Again, I'm probably focusing higher on this one in terms of that calculation, but it's the same if I were to multiply by 60 over 360 uh, times 20 pi. So 20 pi over 6 units. Uh, I have centimeters in this one, so I should be putting centimeters here and centimeters here as well. But what if we have an angle measure or an arc measure that doesn't evenly divide into 360, and so we can't get a nice fraction like 1 fourth or 1 6. Well, that's why I've been writing this fraction as well. The portion of the circle that we're looking at 
here is 105 of the total 360 degrees. So I use the same circumference, since the 10, meter, 10 centimeters is my uh, arc, or this is my radius. So my arc length for this particular problem is 105 over 360 times the circumference, and we know the circumference is 20 pi. So I would simply calculate this out. over 360 times pi. Again, this is in centimeters. Use the calculator to simplify that a little bit. But so I have 35 over 6 pi centimeters. Less important than that final answer, though, is the main idea for finding arc length. To find the arc length in general, we're looking for a fraction of the circumference. So you're going to multiply the arc measure over 360 times the circumference. The fraction, arc measure over 360, in this case it was 105 divided by 360 times the circumference, and for this particular problem, 20 pi was the circumference. Fraction of the circle is, the, is what we're looking at, so we're doing a fraction of the circumference, and that fraction that we set up comes from the angle measure of the arc, or the arc measure, which relates to the central angle. That's how you find the arc length of a circle. I'll be putting together a video on finding the area of a sector as well, but you'll see that they're a very similar process. The only difference would be we're looking at a fraction of the area versus a fraction of the circumference.